In my last video, I talked about frame flex, and this is where, worst case scenario, your fifth wheel can collapse over the bed of your truck. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about what I call frame cracking, and this is something that can result in the whole frame of your trailer collapsing over the axles. And this can be either fifth wheel or travel trailer. So today we're gonna to talk about what it is, why it happens, and how you can avoid it. If you're new here, my name is Jacob. I'm a certified RV technician, and I've got some free resources for RVers, both people shopping with my Don't Buy a Lemon Guide or for RV owners to help them avoid catastrophic failures on the road with my don't get stranded checklist. So what exactly is frame cracking as I'm calling it? So frame cracking is generally most common right around the axle attachment points for your RV. I generally see this happening in, in three different ways. One of them is related to something called outriggers on RV frames. Little triangular pieces of metal are attached to the frame to hold up the walls. I've seen instances of these outriggers collapsing or even just ripping off of the frame, when outriggers start to collapse, you can see the flooring inside your RV buckling as the wall sags down because it's not supported anymore. Another problem you might see is where the spring hangers attach to the RV. These hangers can actually crack and come off of the frame, which means that the wheels aren't really attached to the RV frame anymore. With the suspension hangers cracking and coming off, you can have an axle get ripped out from under your RV because it's not being held steady. Another thing I've seen is these triangular reinforcers that are supposed to help stabilize the frame right above the wheels can break loose or even cause the middle of the frame to crack. If these triangular supports start to wobble back and forth too much or they allow the suspension hangers to shift laterally left and right, it can actually bend the lower web of the I-beam on the frame and cause the whole frame to collapse or bend around the axles instead of staying straight. So while this isn't as trendy right now as frame flex, I think it's definitely a serious issue people need to be aware of. Why does frame cracking around the axles happen? I think there's three contributing factors. First would be bad design on the part of the RV manufacturers. The taller these suspension hangers are, the worse issues you're going to see with potential cracking. I-beams are not meant to move really in the ways that RV frames move them. That's why they have to weld on a bunch of supporting brackets. On the bottom web of the I-beam, right where the axles attach, they'll put a square box tube to try and stop that I-beam from twisting and deforming. But then on the bottom of that, they'll put these suspension hangers that are really, really tall. And unfortunately, that gives the axles more leverage to twist the bottoms of the beams. When it comes to these sorts of manufacturing design flaws, the best thing you can do to avoid getting into a situation where your RV was poorly designed is to research it on the front end and go join forums, go join Facebook groups of other people who own the same RV and ask around if anyone has had issues with frame cracking or failing specifically around the axle areas. The second reason that frame cracking can happen would be manufacturing manufacturing defects. If a weld was not completed correctly, or if the weld itself has bubbles in it so that it's not actually a solid weld, a solid piece of metal anymore, that can be a weak spot that might just fail under normal circumstances. This sort of manufacturing defect is not something that you can predict or watch out for. It's just the kind of thing that creeps up and has to be dealt with after the fact. The third reason this kind of frame cracking can happen would be user error. And that's what I'm going to talk about the most here today. Because this is the factor that's most within your control to help you avoid a situation where your RV is breaking. Believe it or not, folks, at least 25% of the repairs I ended up doing as an RV tech were completely preventable. How the RV owners were using their RV or maintaining or not maintaining them is what caused the problem. So this is why I created my tool-free RV maintenance course, which is 15 tips that can help you save up to $50,000 in repair costs. Like a lot of real stories there of repairs I had to do that didn't need to ever happen. If you found today's video to be helpful, say thanks to Dwayne in the comments. It's people like him buying my courses that make it possible for me to make videos like this. So on the topic of frame cracking and user error, I've got five tips to help you avoid this situation. Tip number one is to add an aftermarket frame reinforcer. Axles move left to right a lot as you're driving down the road, and this results in the bottom of the frame twisting left and right. A frame reinforcer that bolts onto the suspension hangers for the leaf springs can tremendously 
tremendously reduce the amount of left to right movement of the axles and therefore the stresses that are put on the frame. I'll link my favorite upgrade for this in the description below. My second tip is actually to not speed. I know some people are way too much in a hurry to get to their vacation spot and the temptation is to just go 90 miles an hour down the highway or faster than the speed limit. Here's the reality. Because of the amount of movement that naturally happens side to side on these axles, the faster you go, the harder that will flex the bottoms of the I-beam where your axles attach. The slower you can go, the less stress it puts on these axle attachment points. My third tip is actually to limit tight turns. You don't want to jackknife your RV if you can avoid it. By jackknife, I mean turn in such a sharp radius that the wheels, instead of moving forwards, are just rotating underneath your camper. This is easier to do with a fifth wheel. It's harder to do with a travel trailer. But the result when you're jackknifing really hard is that one axle is pushed left and the other is pushed right, which puts a lot more stress on the suspension hangers. You'll see the tires actually being squeezed opposite directions if you're doing this. And that's a good sign that you are putting way too much stress on the suspension. What you need to do in this situation is pull forwards and backwards as much as you can to release the stress on those axle attachment points. This will help prevent bending outriggers or cracking the outrigger attachment points. Tip number four is to not overload your RV. Aside from the issue of just putting too much weight that your suspension is not designed to handle, the more weight that is in your RV, the more force that the RV body is going to put against the axles as it's shaking and rolling down the road. In general, you want to weigh your RV to make sure you're not over over the weight limit but as much under the weight limit as you can stay, the more it reduces the stress on the suspension components. Tip number five is to avoid potholes, especially at high speed. The shock of an axle bouncing through a pothole at highway speeds can put a tremendous amount of strain on these axle attachment points and greatly increase the chance of something fracturing, breaking, and things collapsing. So to be clear, do I think that RV frames could be better engineered so that they don't have these sorts of issues? Yes, I think they could do a better job. These tips are the most actionable things for you to do. Given the current situation, don't break your RV. So as I've mentioned, this is the second video in my frame failure series. Click here for a playlist of all the videos about frame issues in RVs, or click here if you want to see me go undercover to RV dealerships to grade RVs.